Alzheimer's and dementia often result in loss of cognitive functioning and both short and long-term memory loss. Trevor Harris, a graduate student at NMSU studying communication disorders, says this can often make patients feel isolated from the community. Harris and a group of students at NMSU wanted to find a way to help the residents at the Arbors of Del Rey reconnect with the community while still providing therapy. Combining kind of cognitive um, and, and kinesthetic therapies and also helping the community and empty bowls was a great um, avenue for that. We felt that using the clay, that tactile sensations, they really help soothe the residents here and they love doing crafts. Um, so it was a great combo to not only have them do that, but also do it for a purpose. Harris says there is a reason that crafts are something the residents like to focus on. Doing things like this relaxes the residents. Um, a lot of times during the days they get confused and irritated and when they're doing a project that takes their, their mind away from certain extraneous circumstances or, or thoughts, you know, it, they kind of focus in on these things, these kind of projects and then they get engulfed in it and it really helps them and soothes them and gets their breathing right and it's just really beneficial overall. He says watching the residents make the bowls was also a demonstration of how the disease progresses. In Alzheimer's or dementia there's usually three stages. There's high functioning, middle functioning, and low functioning. So we had all three um, ranges working on these bowls um, and you could really see the translation of the progression in their bowls. Um, and when you look over all of them, you can see there's some that are really beautiful and some that look more interpretive. But it's, it's really what the disease has done to these individuals. Harris said the bowls also provided a look at the personalities of the patients, something you don't always get to see. You can see the kind of things that they liked or the kind of colors that they liked or how they wanted to make the bowl. Those kind of things come out and they're things that normally you might not see from these these individuals it's something that you know sparked a memory or a thought or a preference a long time ago and it came out so that was really cool to see as well the potter's guild of las cruces provided the clay and glazes for the residents and nmsu's art department fired the finished bowls in their kiln for krwg i'm samantha sonner